Well, now to a story of hope. A beloved minister, father, and volunteer in Minneapolis is making steps toward recovery after suffering a major heart attack and being in a coma. Our Hannah Flood shows us how Jerry Evans has been serving his community and now how his family is in need of prayers and support. At the intersection of 38th and Chicago in Minneapolis, faith has been tested. Could have happened in New York, could have happened in London, wherever, but God allowed it to happen right here on 38th in Chicago. Pastor Curtis Ferrar is the leader of Worldwide Outreach Ministries, a church whose small corner of Minneapolis was thrust into the international spotlight after George Floyd's death. As a witness to all of it was Pastor Ferrar's right-hand man and fellow minister, Jerry Evans. And whatever happened at this church, Jerry was a part of it. One thing Jerry is known for is his food. Every time somebody would taste his food, you're tasting you know, his passion, his heart, his soul. Jerry and his wife Angie own a catering business called Smoke and Jays. They've served some big names over the years, but their biggest test would come in the weeks after George Floyd's death, when members of the church fed, clothed, and helped hundreds of people who visited the square. I kind of think he felt like he needed to be here and just to be that, that person, to, to be that friendly face. On December 15th, Jerry suffered a major heart attack, which put him in a coma. Doctors said he would likely never recover. At one point, they were saying he may just be a vegetable. With time and a lot of prayer, Jerry is making a miraculous recovery. He's breathing on his own, opening his eyes, and responding to voices around him. He's making strides. Like Every day, it's, it's amazing what, how God is just changing his life. Because of COVID, Jerry's family mostly communicates with him through FaceTime. Jerry, I love you, hon. Can't wait till you come home. I'll see you soon. I love you. With each day, Jerry's family has faith he'll keep getting better and will soon be back here doing what he loves. Even in the midst of this tragedy and what we're going through, there's still hope. In Minneapolis, Hannah Flood, Fox 9.